Hey puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to play some logic puzzles. This one's on a Sudoku variant known as a non-consecutive Sudoku. The rules state that just like in regular Sudoku, each row, column, and 3x3 three three box must contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. The variant, however, states that no orthogonally adjacent cell may be consecutive. So what that means is if you look up, down, left, right, you can't have digits right next to each other like a 1 and 2 or 6 and 7 or 8 and 9. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is solve this puzzle for you guys, share some common tips and tricks that will hopefully make it easier for you to solve them yourself in the future. Now if you'd like to give it a try first on your own, you can click the link in the description below. But the place that I like to start is looking for any digits that we have in center squares. And the reason for that is they're going to pose the biggest restrictions. Right? If we look at this 2, we know a 1 cannot be above it or below it or left or right. So we can basically see that the 1 is going to have to be in these corners here. So what we can do is we can pencil those in. And we also know that a 3 can't be above or below the 2 or to the left or right of the 2. So now we actually have a 1-3 pair. So let's actually uh, write it like that. And that's really helpful because now we can see we've limited uh, this down quite a bit. So uh, if we think about uh, regular Sudoku rules, this 4 lines up with this 4. So let's see, we can't have a 4 in any of these cells. We can't have a 4 here next to the 3. And we can't have a 4 here at the bottom because of that 4. So we can actually write in a 4 there. Um, and then we can do the same thing here. Fours can't be on the bottom two rows, so they're going to have to be somewhere here at the top. Um, so we can actually write that in. Um, here, if we look in the center square, the four can't be next to the five. Can't be here because of the four over there. And it can't be in the corners because that's a pair. That's got to be a one, three. So that leaves the four there. And then now in this box, the 4 can't be there or there. So we can put a 4 in the corner there in one of those two cells. If we think about now, there's only three, oops, three cells left here. Uh, we're missing a 7, 8, 9. The 7 here takes out those two. So the 7 must be up there. And now this is an 8, 9 pair. So looking at this now, where does a 3 go? A 3 can't go next to the 4 in this row. Obviously, it can't go here. That's a pair already. It can't go here because of the 3 above it. And so that forces a 3 here. So sort of a, a naked single, if you will, uh, with the variant. So now we have just three cells left. That's a triple. Uh, we're missing a 1. 5 and a 6. Well, we know 5 can't be here next to the 4, so that forces the 5 to be here. And then this is now a 1, 6 pair. Okay, that's helpful. Um, oh, this 4, so knowing the negative constraint of not being able to have consecutive digits next to each other, this cannot be a 3. So that has to be a 1, making that the 3. And now we know 3's got to be down here by regular Sudoku rules, so it's going to be in one of those. Where does the 5 go in this box? Can't go next to the 4, can't go to the top, so it's got to be, and it can't be down here. So it goes in one of these. So this actually is a 3-5 pair. So we can write that in like that. Um, we're missing now. So normally in regular Sudoku, I would not write in quadruples like this. Um, usually I only pencil in if it's a double or triple. But because there's extra constraints, um, anytime I see a quadruple, I typically like to pencil them in. And so we're missing a 2. Um, two, seven, eight, nine. Well, the sevens in that box, so none of those can be sevens, making 
this the 7. So that's the only place the 7 can go uh, in this row. So now we have a 2, 8, 9 triple. Well, this can't be an 8 because of the 7 above it. This can't be a 2 because of the 3 above it. So if this is a 2, 8, 9 triple, this must be a 1, 4, 6 triple, right? 1, 4, 6. We already know this can't be a 4. Oh, and it can't be a 6 because of the 5 below it, so that's a 1. So these two is either is going to be a 4, 6 pair. So let's write in 4, 6. And because of the 7, that makes this a 4. That's a 6. Okay, now we have a triple here. We're missing 2, 8, 9. 2, 8, 9. I don't think we can do anything with that. 289. Um, so we have a quadruple here in this column. There's only four missing numbers. One, two, we're missing a three, five, six, nine. Three, five, six, nine, right? This four means this can't be a three or five. And let's delete the four in the corner. Oh, and it can't be a 9 either because of the 8 below it. So that's a 6. Plopping a 6 in one of these by regular Sudoku. So we can take out 6 now from all of those. So it's a 3, 5, 9 triple. I don't think we can... Well, we can eliminate the 9 from down here, but that's about it. Nothing else we can do. Um... Six goes in one of those, just by normal Sudoku rules. And where does a five go? Five can't go in any of these. So this brings me to my next point. When you have pencil marks um, that are adjacent to one another, or you know opposite, and there's a, a place in the middle, you can actually use the negative constraint because we know a five can't go in either of these. Because no matter what, one of these is going to be a six. And the other one can't be adjacent to the 6. So the 5 can't go in either of these, and the 5 can't go next to the 4. So the 5 has to be down here. And the 5 can't be next to the 6 up here, forcing the 5 in one of those two squares. We have a 5 up here, forcing the 5 there. And now 5 has to be at the top, but not here because of that 5. So we're going to put a 5 in one of those two. Um... Let's think about this. What are we missing? So we have, let's try to do some regular Sudoku. The threes here have to go in one of these, but we have a three already in the top row of the bottom boxes, so that must be a three. Forcing a three down here, but there's already a three there, so a three is going to be in one of those. Oh, meant to do a corner pencil mark. Um, six, six, so plopping a six in one of these. Um, Four. Four has got to go over here because of these two. And then there's one already up there. So we could actually plop a four in one of these. Um, okay. Five. Can't go in. Well, that doesn't. That's not helpful. Let's try to work on the ones. Oh, you know what? I missed that. This whole time, there was a one pencil mark here and a one right below it. So that's a six, making that a one. This six forces this to be a three and not a five. That's the five. Uh, this one makes it so that this is not a two. Get rid of that one. This... 
feel like where does a two belong? A two can't be next to these. It can't be next to this. Yeah. So this three blocks those two and those two from being a two. So the digit two must go there. And now the one, well, we knew that already. The one can't go in those two because of that one, and the one can't go down here. So this is, the ones have to be in one of those two. We see a one in the top row already, so this is a one. That forces the one in one of these middle squares because the one here and here. But we already see those two ones canceling out these two, so the one must be there. And now we have a triple. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're meeting uh, six, seven, nine. Oh, this six here can't be a six because of that six. So this is a six. So now we have a seven, nine uh, pair. And this can't be a seven because of the six next to it. That's a nine, making that the seven. And now we have a quadruple. So let's write those in. We need two, five, eight, nine. And we know this can't be a two or five because the digit's next to it. This can't be an eight. Can't be a five because of the five above it. This can't be a two because of the one. That can't be a two because of the one. So this is the only square that can be a two down here. So that's a two. So we have a five, eight, nine triple. And I think that's all we can do in the bottom box now. So, so here we have, what are these three going to be? Well, let's do, let's do these quadruples down here. So we're missing a two, five, seven, eight. These obviously can't be fives. Oh, so we solved the five. So this must be the five. That's the only square that can be a five. So let's delete that five corner mark. So this can't be a seven because the six above it. Let me get rid of that. This can't be a two because of the three next to it. And I think that's it for that. And then what about this quadruple here? So we're missing in this box. Uh, let's let's clear this up. Let's just start from scratch. Three, four, seven, nine. We know the threes can't be there because of the two. Three can't be there because the three's already in that row. So that leaves just this cell here for the three. So now we have a four, seven, nine. The four can't go here because of the five below it. Seven can't go there because of the sixes, so that's a nine. Making this now a four, seven pair. This can't be a four because of the three and the five are next to it. So that's gotta be seven. That's the four. Where does the seven go up here? It has to be this box in this row. Making that a two, eight pair. Oops, two eight pair, which makes this the nine. Now this is a uh, five eight pair, right? Oops, five eight pair. This can no longer be a two, because the two below it. So here we have a triple. Right, that's six, eight, nine. Oops, this is six, eight, nine, but obviously not the six. Not sure how helpful that was. We can clean that up. We don't need the sixes in the corner. But these can't be threes anymore. Let's clean that up. Those are five or nine. Hmm. This is a uh, two, eight, nine triple, right? So two, eight, nine, it's not really that helpful. We're missing a five. 
up here. So five by normal Sudoku goes in one of those. Oh, where does a seven go? I'm missing a seven. I, I this column's wrong. This there's something going on here. Seven seven. There has to be a seven here. One. What am I missing? Oh, these are not not nines. There's already a nine. Gosh, I almost messed that up. So that's so a sevens in one of these. Right? Seven, seven. Yeah, one of those is a seven. So we can't have the seven and the eight next to each other because those would be consecutives. So one of these has to be a seven. Neither one can be an eight. Right? So again, let's just go over that again. So one of these has to be a seven. Neither one can be an eight then. So that has to be the eight. That's the, uh, gosh darn it, that's the, that's the nine, that's the two. This is now just a two seven pair. This can't be the seven because the eight's down there. So that's a two, that's a seven. So it's uh, two, two, this is the two now. That's the eight. This is now a five, nine, right? Five, nine pair. And then this triple here is one, two, we're missing a three, we're missing a six, and an eight. Three, six, eight. This can't be the eight because of the nine. Whoa. Three, six, eight. Can't be the eight because of the nine. Let's clean this up. We don't want the corner marks anymore. Um, I feel like I could do more up here. I'm missing something now. Oh, the three. This can't be a three. That has to be a six. Making this a three eight pair. Because of the six, this can't be a five. So that has to be the nine. That has to be the five. There we go. Um, now, let's do, what's this quadruple? So I'm missing 2589, 2589, yeah. So this is 2589, obviously this can't be a two. Can't be a five. That wasn't very helpful up there. Here we have a quadruple. Let's so that these three have to be I'm missing a four, five, seven, eight. This can't be a five or seven because of the six below it. This can't be a four because of the three below. It can't be a five because there's a five in that uh, column already. This can't be a four or five. So where does the five go here? It has to be this one, right? Can't go here because of this. Can't go here because of that. Can't go here because of the six. So that's, that's the five. That's the nine. This is now a seven, eight pair, making that a four. Um, that's no longer a four. So this is a seven, eight pair. So let's get rid of the six in the corner. Um, so these four, now it's a quadruple. We're missing a two, three, four, six. Well, we already know the six is over there. So these two are the sixes. Well, the twos can't go here. So twos have to be up here, plopping a two here. Two can't be here because of this two. Two can't be there because of that one. So the two belongs there in that row. One of these is now the two. This can't be a three because of the four. Can't be a four because of the four is next to it. So that's a two, six. This can't be a six because of the seven. So now we have a three, four pair here, forcing this to be the six. Now this 
has to be a two because it's not the three, four plus regular Sudoku pops a two there. So this, we can get rid of the two, the nine. So now we have a five, eight pair here. So that can't be the eight anymore. That must be the nine. Let me take away the nine there. That's a six, eight pair. Taking care of this cell here, now must be the nine, that must be a two, that must be the eight. Taking care of that is the five, that's the eight. This is no longer an eight, that's now a five. One cell missing, one, two, three, four, five, we're missing a seven. Seven, yeah, pops one of those down there. Six can't be here because of the five, so that's an eight, that's a six. This can't be a three because of the two above it, so that's gotta be four, making that a three. Making that an, whoa, 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 whoa. So this can't be a three because of the three there. So that's an eight, that's a three. How do I disambiguate this now? Seven, there we go. So that has to be an eight, making that the seven that the nine and that the eight. So there you have it, uh, looks good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I certainly did. Um, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, I find them tough, I really do. Um, I, I sometimes struggle with the non-consecutive Sudoku. I do like the um, consecutive variant where some cells uh, have to be consecutive and some cells can't be consecutive. I think that's a little bit more fun for me personally, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your uh, time was, was if you did it on your own. I'm, I'm sure plenty of you did it faster than me. I'm certainly no speed demon, but uh, hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I do plan on doing a lot more Sudoku variants here in the next month or so, and then maybe I'll get back to some non-Sudoku uh, logic puzzles. But hope you guys have a good night. Thanks, everyone.